Hello, my name's Helen Phillips and I created a music video for a song called Petulia by Capulus. I actually worked with Capulus last year and made a music video for them. I think the last video we got, which was the Black Book one, reached nearly 10,000 people, which was huge. Half of that is obviously down to, down to Helen. Since the project was so successful last year, the band gave me a lot of free reign to create a music video for one of their older songs called Petulia. While researching, Muse's music video Hysteria stood out to me. It simply portrays one character having an emotional breakdown over a girl he's clearly obsessed with. I began envisioning an idea for one member of a couple obsessively reflecting over memories of their lost partner and that partner frequently disappearing and reappearing before their eyes. The song revolves around a theme of heartbreak as well as someone called Petulia. What she symbolises remains completely ambiguous. I never fully revealed whether she's a figment of the character's imagination or if she is real. A key example of this type of hallucination is in a music video called Above the Clouds of Pompeii. A man's assumedly deceased partner suddenly disappears from the scene with a slight change in camera movement. A simpler version of this is what I tried to imitate for the opening scene of Petulia. I wanted her reappearance at the end to remain open to interpretation to the audience. You don't really know what Petulia is, sort of open to interpretation, so the way that Helen captured the ambiguousness of uh, Petulia in this music video is really good. All good poetry is ambiguous. Exactly. The only distinguishing element that suggests she may be real this time rather than a hallucination was my decision to have her wearing jewellery, high heels and more glamorous makeup in the first and last scene and a more natural look and bare feet during the hallucination scenes. Crucially, a white dress was decided upon to make her contrast against a dark wine red carpet. I was fortunate enough to have frequent access to a manor house. With old timeless features, it was practically a pre-made film set. It actually aided the characterization of the actors. It enhanced the sense of them being enigmatic, timeless people. The huge scale of the house perfectly enhanced the loneliness of the main character, which I further emphasized through cutting from wide shots to claustrophobic close-ups. I sent a form of treatment to the band and gave me the green light to begin storyboarding. The whole time we worked with Helen, she was giving us briefs, giving us a storyboard, exactly what we're doing every step of the way. Use her in the future 100%. We've used her twice now. Well, this is the second time and we think that our styles and that gel really well. Um, she likes to work with um, topics that aren't completely clear cut and straight down the middle. Um, so a lot like us, we like to write songs that aren't necessarily as simple as what they say on the tin, they like to have separate meanings and I think that's what she does in her filmmaking. Yeah. As a filmmaker I have to bring visuals which work rhythmically and aesthetically, partly by creating turning points in the narrative and increasing the pace as the music reaches its crescendo. I'd also planned each piece of kit required for each shot type. A lot of these consisted of slider shots to keep things flowing with subtle movement. I found the greatest element of collaboration to be with the actors. I cast Justin Wright as the main character. I knew his mannerisms well enough to know he'd fit the role perfectly. Prior to shooting, Helen showed me the shot list. Yeah, they actually sped the whole thing up and showed that Helen's foresight and planning increased the efficiency greatly. Given that Helen was a one-person film crew, she has excelled due to her organisation skills and her ingenuity with the equipment she has available to her. She literally will not stop until she has every shot just right. After seeing it, it was a very well shot, very polished final piece, which I thoroughly enjoyed watching. Layla is a theatre student, so I know she works professionally, and I know she's great at acting through subtle facial expressions. Yeah, I liked playing Petulia. Yeah, she's like enigmatic. It wasn't like fully expressed aggressive because she was like a hallucination um, which is quite different. Helen did really well, she communicated the idea, there's so much to do and so much to set up and to be on your own and to do that you have to be really organised. I think the storyline is powerful, Helen was very welcoming and really enjoyed working with her so I definitely keep in touch. Since the band and I feel our styles complement one another, we feel we'd be more than happy to work together in future. So I really enjoyed the uh, story that you got in this video. I think the cinematography is brilliant, the shots, the lighting, it's all really well done. I thought it was quite haunting. We love our work, so we're yeah, of course. absolutely happy. And, uh, and this is definitely going to help boost our profile again. And obviously, as we progress as a band, we'd like to keep her involved with it and, and, and keep it going, so it's all good.
Thank you.